whole idea, you know. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today, uh, I just wanna talk about using moment lenses with the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 um, and the new stabilizer that they just put out. Uh, I, when I first decided to purchase these two items, the moment lens uh, and the stabilizer, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work out pretty well. So um, here's just a kind of a quick review or first look of how these two things work. Uh, and thanks to Tony for shooting this all for me. So this is what the iPhone lens looks like without the moment lens. Uh, just take a look at the frame right now. I'm going to add the wide moment lens to it right now and see how it changes. Okay, there should be a little bit of a different, gives you a wider shot. So hopefully that came out right. All right, let's go ride. Okay, so this is the moment counterweight that I just bought. These guys, each side detaches if you want to add or take away weight. Um, and this just attaches to the Osmo Mobile 2 stabilizer. Um, it came with the bag, so I usually put the counterweight in the bag, cinch it up, and then you can either put it over here, but I like to keep my cable here. So I put it actually inside the sleeve of the, the, the clamp or I put in the clamp of the stabilizer, close it up, and it's a perfectly good fit. Okay guys, this is the 18 wide lens on the DJ Osmo Mobile 2 with the Manfrotto tripod on the bottom. So the counterweight basically fits on top of here on this arm, it's easy to adjust. The problem, the one problem is that I have an iPhone 8 Plus kit uh, and lens case, and the lens case does not fit flush with the Osmo Mobile 2 clamps. That's kind of a problem because you don't, it'll pop out pretty easily like that, um, which is obviously not the good thing to do. This kind of uh, clamp issue only applies to the iPhone 8 Plus. I haven't tried it with other models or Android phones. Um, but at the same time, one thing I do want to point out is that there's no counterbalance for the clamp itself. So if I'm trying to balance it this way, um, it just goes like that. I can't really, I can't really slide the clamp like normal to try to counteract it because the iPhone is kind of too big. It kind of just gets stuck there. Um, so that's one thing to be aware about when you buy this setup with the iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so this is kind of a big issue. I'm still gonna try to use it, but it's gonna be sketchy. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any solutions to this or if I'm just gonna have to live with this for the rest of my life. Thanks for watching.